Hello, Merry Christmas to all my viewers. And uh, my name is Nava Jonathan. I'm the founder of Coins Tech. Uh, today, I wanted to show you on how we can add audio, like audio recording, into our Kobo Toolbox questions. First of all, I want to first take this opportunity to thank you for all your efforts you're putting in to support us, like uh, in viewing our videos, subscribing to our channels, and then also to liking and sharing of the videos. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year 2023. Yep. So uh, allow me to share my screen and uh, i show you how best you can add uh, audio recording into your Kobo toolbox. First of all, before I show you how to do it, what do you think that we need audio recording into our tools? Uh, first of all, we have got researchers who just like data collectors who just go in the field. And then uh, you find out that they're not doing the good job like the way you want. They fake data, they duplicate data, they do whatever. Uh, you find some of them just go under trees. Uh, they do, they collect data under trees. Uh, others, you find them um, uh, doing data collection from their homes. You understand? He just sleeps on his bed. There's no GPS in the tool. Uh, and you find them just, you know, doing the data collection while sleeping on the bed. Uh, you personally, as a an M and E or as a project manager, you not understand this. You understand? But uh, as soon as you include audio into your data tool questions, of course, you'll be able to hear uh, this face-to-face -face interaction with this, like, you know, this data collector with a beneficiary, maybe he or she is interviewing. This is going to help you, like, have actuated data because every question this person will be asking, you'll be able to listen to it. Everything this person does in the field, you'll be able to listen to it. We've got other challenges whereby data collectors have language barrier. You find someone can't speak Swahili, someone can't speak Arabic, someone can't speak in Rwanda, someone can't speak, you know, these local, local languages for these beneficiaries. But when you call for data collectors, he or she the first to raise up his, his hand or hand. And once you give him or her the tool to go in the field to collect the data, you find they're messing up. Because uh, you'll find like, how many times do you eat per day? This person doesn't know Kiswahili, doesn't know English. I mean, uh, Kinyarwanda, Arabic. He will ask other things, different, different things. And you'll get improper and unnaturate data correct data. So to limit on that, to reduce on those problems, I'm kindly going to show you how best we can do that. First of all, you need to add GPS. You add GPS in your toolbox. In your questions, add GPS. At least let this person, whenever he, he or she is going maybe to collect uh, data collection in Hoima, maybe on this household, if it is a school, that GPS should be showing the school. And then audio can prove that this person clearly has been at school. He met, he or she met the head teacher of the school or he or she met the district com, uh, commissioner, you know, you have proper uh, data. So allow me now to take you through on how we can, you know, we can add these two things. I wanna teach you how, how you can add GPS and then how you can add audio. Thank you, let's go. Okay, so I'm coming, uh, I'm coming to share my screen. And um, uh, first of all, we are going to come to our project. Uh, this is, uh, I can, I'm just going to use any example here. Let me just use any example, like, you know, I'm gonna use any example. So uh, I'm going to use this tool that I just created recently. I open it. Once I open it like that, of course, you can edit. You can edit whatever you want to edit. You can, you can do anything you want. Yeah, so we are having here, this form here, it is called edit form. So once I edit form, how am I going to add GPS? If you want to add GPS, you just come down. 
Okay, once you read in our questionnaires, I already have GPS is here. You see it? This is GPS and I said actual location of the household. However, let me just show you basically how I did it. Uh, so I've come to an end of the questionnaire, but now I wanted to put that GPS. So I just click here like this. And then uh, what I will do, what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to say anything. Maybe household, household location. Let me zoom my space. Okay. So household, household uh, location. Then maybe in brackets I can say GPS. I close the brackets. So after that, you're just going to come and say add, add question, and then you'll come on on point. Once you see such a thing, just know that it's a GPS location so you just click there and then it will be able to show you <laughs> the location <laughs> where this beneficiary is so you just click save okay so after that uh we're ready with gps you can just come let me first do the other one let me do this first one and deleting, you just come and just see that red button and then you just delete. So once I come to preview, once I preview the, the form, you'll be able to see that at least I have GPS because I wanted this GPS to be down. Uh, it always takes some little, little time, you know, to, <laughs> to bring up the questions, but at least we can be patient as it is coming. Yeah, let's try to be patient as it is coming, it's coming, it's coming. Very soon it's been there. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, uh, our form is ready. I think you can see here our first GPS has gone away. And then once you come down here, you can see our question is saying household location in brackets gps and that's what exactly i did so let's assume that maybe i just want to do I, I just click anywhere just click anywhere see uh if you're using a phone it will automatically load up to five up to five um degrees and uh that will be your actual actual location so here i've just clicked anywhere so uh, to add in the audio part, you're just going to come. Uh, sorry about this. Okay, let's assume that maybe this is your question here and then you want to add in audio. You want to add in audio. You just come, you see where did you save here? Yeah, this point where did you save? Where you, you save your form for, from? And then you just come down here. Uh, once you're down here, you just uh, do what? You just where is add library, add from library or layout and settings. So you're going to set your question here. So what we're gonna do, just click like that on layout and settings. And then this is our metadata. You can either add start date of the, of the question here, the end date of the question here. You can uh, also add the today part. And then also we have very, very many things there. You can put the audits, you can uh, add the username, you can put the phone number of the person collecting the data collection. You can do the device ID. Device ID, this is maybe a tablet you're using or a phone you're using. Uh, all, this, <laughs> all this will come in like uh, uh, when you've set them. So I want to put audio. Uh, you just come here, background audio, background audio, and uh, sorry. okay, yeah. So like uh, what I was saying, once you reach here on layout, layout settings, what you're going to do, you just come on background audio, and then the only thing you have to do, you just click this button, make it to be appear blue. So they will show you that this survey will be recorded. So you can even add some video quality, I mean voice quality, whereby you can put it in low, low quality, normal, and low voice only. So me, I prefer 
using voice only. Then what, what you're going to do, you just come and save. You save your tool so that all the changes that you've made, they are going to be saved. And you have to get a, not a notification showing you that successfully updated. So uh, once you say maybe you want to see now, you want like uh, to see its progress, if the things are coming out very well. Uh, so definitely this form will have to show you the recording, like it will record everything, everything that uh, these people will be talking about. And then you'll be able to also receive those recordings which can help you to prove that these people have been in the field or they have been not in the field. So that's how basically our tool is looking like. So first of all, I want to uh, thank you for watching this video. And uh, please, kindly and subscribe to our channel. Please, 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 subscribe to our channel. Uh, remember also to uh, remember to share this video to your friends so they can also learn the things. Otherwise, I wish you well. Uh, have a nice time. And I beg to leave for now. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year 2023. Please enjoy your day.